unified diagnostic services communication control service sid 0x28 in the following slides we will be discussing on uds sid 0x28 the purpose of this service uh, is to basically switch on switch off the transmission and reception uh, messages of certain you know servers either it could be application message or network management messages so before we get into the actual request and response of this sid 0x28 we shall you know discuss uh, the different uh, configurations of uh, in vehicle networking as part of you know, the vehicle and how this service uh, should be used in order to uh, address specific uh, communication type uh, and so on so on the left hand side where you see figure one multibus network it's a typical can networking architecture where you have n number of ecus connected on can bus and every ecu is having a direct uh, connectivity to the obd2 port that means uh, the can lines are connected to the obd2 port thereby the tester access the direct access access to the all the ecus in the network uh, available in the second uh, start network topology you have multiple ecus connected to a central ecu uh, could be of uh, n number of uh, lin nodes connected to central ecu and uh, this is one type of you know network here what we need to understand is uh, the lin nodes which are part of this central ecu you know master node are not something that connected to diagnostic port you know with the help of can bus so if you need to access these nodes then the central ecu node should act as a server for this subnet nodes and uh, this particular service call them as uh, the lin nodes as sub 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 network nodes and this has to be address with a unique identifier okay so why do we actually do the communication control uh, when we are in a diagnostic session uh, it's not really necessary to have the full communication load on the bus so we can you know uh, select some of the ecu to stop their communication that's one way of looking at it and make the full bandwidth for the diagnostic session or when you do a ecu flash programming in a vehicle network and you can ask other ecus not to intervene during the part of ecu flash programming that means the entire bandwidth is available for a particular ecu flash programming or in some reason if you are diagnosing the vehicle and we want to stop the communication activities of other ecu and listen to a particular ecu and do some data logging activity then this service might be used or you are performing a in vehicle networking testing of the vehicle and you want to observe some particular ecu or few ecus in the network then this could be one of the way of uh, you know enabling disabling communication of a particular node for a full communication stop or enable or a particular message enable disable like that so i try to explain the operation of this particular service with the help of this diagram so you see uh, there is a ecu label that square box indicates that uh, these components are part of ecu and the external enable disable uh, is the request coming from the tester so there are two parts involved in this particular communication control one is the communication type uh, which you see a normal communication or a network management communication these are called as communication type and uh, 
there is a receive and a transmission rx tx these two modes are called as communication control that means by enabling disabling a transmission or a reception you can control the communication type uh, you know messages which is going out or getting inside the ecu so you can enable a transmission of a particular communication type either a normal communication or a network management communication or you can disable a particular communication type with the control type you know enable disable and receive and transmission so why this uh, uh, particular uh, diagram need to be understood because this is what happens when you send the request message to the ecu server so you can either enable disable the transmission receive reception you know control types or you can enable disable the communication type that is normal communication or network management communication specific messages apart from that you can also talk to a node like as we previously discussed a subnet node like a lin network if it is connected to this ecu then that also can be addressed through a addressing mechanism and the last way of controlling the issue is you can completely disable the in a, uh, you know ecu communication itself with the help of communication control so let me take you through the different uh, communication control type possible so the control type where we see receive and transmit you can either enable or uh, uh, receiver and transmitter that means rx tx for a normal communication mode or a network communication management communication you know messages 0x01 is enable rx and disable tx for both the normal communication or network communication management communication messages and so on uh, till uh, 00 to 03 these are specific to you know these two type of communication within the ecu server but uh, 04 and 05 enable rx and disable tx with enhanced address information is basically you have a lin network node which is connected to that particular ecu server and that particular lin node has to be addressed with a given identifier so 0405 meant for a subnet ecu as part of ecu address and 4025 is is basically for vehicle manufacturer specific uh, uh, communication control type and the next one is the communication type so this is one byte value and that means so you have eight bits and uh, every bit is uh, is a kind of a encoded for this kind of um, Uh, communication type enabling and disabling here with the help of this uh, bit setting we should be in a position to uh, set the communication type either it could be a normal communication or a network management communication or both or in addition to that you can also you know enable and disable that specific uh, communication type uh, with the help of bit 47 uh, and in the 47 also you can see as we discussed previously a specific subnet identify also with the help of that number if it is present in the previous um, you know communication control type 
then that also need to be uh, you know controlled with the help of this communication type and the last one is to basically even the receiving server can be completely you know disabled or enabled with this kind of uh, bit setting so put together the sid with the uh, communication control type uh, you know the control uh, sub function and the communication type we should be in a position to have a control of communication in addition to that in this slide you can see if you want to access a subnet like a kind of a, a lin uh, node in this kind of scenario where this canvas is not connected to the uh, this uh, you know lin nodes then this central issue acts as a server for these other nodes then this node identification number should be sent as part of the sid with the help of this and other parameter we should be in a position to have the communication control over uh, the specific uh, subnet nodes yeah so this is the request message format so you have sid and a sub function communication type and the node identification number if it is addressing to a specific subnet uh, issue otherwise the node identification number is not a part of the request message so sid is 28 the sub function control type as we discussed previously this is uh, enable disable rx tx uh, types for normal and uh, in the communication type either it could be normal communication or network management communication and byte 4 and 5 is for the address of a subnet uh, ecu or the server ecu itself uh, in case of uh, enable disabling a particular receiving server so this is the format of request uh, message where you send a value of 28 as a service id followed by the communication control type and the communication type and followed by the subnet uh, address or the issue server address and the positive response will be always the uh, positive response 0x68 followed by the control type so the supported negative responses are uh, sub function not supported and incorrect message length are invalid format these are the two normal conditions condition not correct is uh, somewhere when when the issue is doing some important functions and we are trying from the diagnostic tester to disable enable some communication messages then during that time it might uh, give a negative response saying that condition is not correct or in 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 terms of regular condition not correct is like even the vehicle is moving or some uh, engine running condition like that or some other issues are performing some important function during that time if you start requesting this kind of requests uh, then issue might send this uh, response of 0x22 request out of range is the server shall you know give this response code if there is a communication type uh, or a communication uh, node identified or the subnet node id is not available then this kind of response of 31 is received so here is an example for the communication control sid 28 so this is request message of 28 followed by 01 is the control type that is enable rx and disable tx and 02 is the network management message control so that means this request message will ask the ecu server to enable the network management communication and uh, 
it only requests the ECU server to enable only the reception in the ECU server and disable the uh, transmission messages from the ECU server to outside. And for the positive response, uh, you are received 68 followed by 0x01. There's nothing but the control type which is available. This is the example, one more example for message flow example for communication control. So here we are trying to access a remote uh, LIN node. So for example, an engineer CU node uh, has a LIN node connected uh, with the address 0x000A. And in this case, the request message format is uh, 28 SID and 04 is the control type. Uh, it's enable RX and disable TX with the enhanced address information. The address is nothing but 000A. And the communication type is normal messages. That means the issue server is allowed to send RXTX. And that means uh, the diagnostic tester will have the access directly to the network uh, subnet node through the issue server. And if the response is 0668 and 0x04, then it's a positive response. So this is the way you know we access the subnet ID. So I think with this we have come to the end of session of uh, communication control. Our next session will be on the tester percent uh, 0x3 service. Hope the information is useful and your time is invested well. Thank you and see you again. Bye.